these two operating networks with energy will mean that people from one side cannot take part in what the others are doing, not at all. On the contrary, as participants, I think that the mobility should be complete and absolutely open. So it's much more in terms of agenda setting, the priorities, political priorities, or uh, as you mentioned before. I think we, which, which is very important, what is very important is to have each of the two sides, two faces of the coin, deciding on their own what are for the next year or two years the main two or three key topics they want to address. Because as what I said before, because they are definitely not the same anymore and they will be less and less the same at least in the, in the next 10 years. <coughs> so it's first agenda setting. <coughs> and then EG is having an agenda made of these two <coughs> agenda set there. Second is to allow in term organization that these agendas are organized concretely if they are uh, congresses, conferences, and so on, with a big latitude, big f freedom by each of the two sides to do the way they think it should be done. So it's not only the, the, the objective, but also the way it will be organized. And third, and I repeat myself, in terms of participation, it should be kept complete mobility that those who are interested can take part in one or the other. Now, let's, li let's give example of what the agenda is. You mentioned, for instance, corruption. Of course, it exists <coughs> everywhere in Europe. Definitely, it's not a, it's not a something located in one or the other part of Europe. Without making French politics, I can tell you we will come next week on that France, at the top level, has a lot of corruption issues, which are <laughs> explode from May 7th in the morning uh, on a large scale. But anyhow, uh, but this is in fact we can say it's something which is maybe a bigger topic, a more crucial topic, for instance, in Ukraine and, and some other countries. Then you can decide, as a European value network, that for the coming year or next two years, you are going with different countries to focus on that issue and to make it your, your uh, main topic to be seen and visible and so on. Meanwhile, on Euroland, the Euroland the Youth Network decide that, for instance, one of the big issues is, can be to renew and to reinvent the Erasmus and the higher education policies to serve democratic training of citizens within Euroland. I just say that can be something else, I just give examples. And you get your two priorities, each side of the network. And as a network, you get all together the program. And meanwhile, you have each side which is really doing something which they feel is crucial and essential for their own interest. I contrary you right now, what is going on? In many cases, I'm sure, because I've managed a lot of networks, including between continents, like with the American and so on, what happened is that because people don't agree on the hottest topic for one side, you agree on minimalist issues, or I would say nice issues, issues which are going to gather everybody because they are nice. Like, uh, you know, war is bad, okay, let's do something about against war, or uh, environment is good, okay, let's do something about environment and so on. Okay, they are important, but basically they have very weak impact outside of those who are interested. There you choose it. You choose issues.